Hi, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies and in this short video I'm going to cover some of the uh, new features that have been added to what WordPress theme is at. Uh, if you're not familiar with the site, it's an easy way of uh, finding out what, what themes and what plugins uh, are running on a particular site. So let's let's take a look at a site. Uh, this particular one, Easy SEO Newsletter, is, is quite a popular um, marketing blog by uh, Dr. Andy Williams. As you can see, he's got a, quite a lot of elements on there. So if we want to have a look to see what's uh, happening on his site, we'll just hit the check site button and wait a few seconds and it'll come back. So it tells us the, uh, the theme name, the home page, and uh, all this other stuff here. It gives you a screenshot of the actual uh, base theme it's used. Now this particular one is a child theme. So we can see here uh, that this education theme is based on the Genesis framework, um, which is uh, created by StudioPress. Now you can, we can uh, go and have a look at any of the details of that. So if we want to see the actual details of the uh, education theme itself, we can just click on the link there, and that will take us across to StudioPress, and you know we can get all the details about you know what what the the theme's all about. Okay, and um, also what we have down the bottom here, which which is another great new feature, is the uh, plugins that have been detected on the site. Now I'll just point out that there's, unless you have admin access, it's impossible to find out every single plugin that's activated on the site. But this, uh, what WordPress saying by that will actually discover as many plugins as as are visible. Um, so here we can see there's the eight plugins, and what we can do is we can uh, click on this icon here to check it in the uh, WordPress plugin repository. So if we click on that, and we'll get the details for that particular plugin, so slick social share buttons. Um, so you can say, oh, okay, well that's one I can install on my site. Now, uh, there's potentially not every single one of these is going to be uh, available in the WordPress plugin repository. So in which case, if it comes up with nothing, when you when you click on here, you can simply click on this one here, and that will do a search for it on Google. Okay, so uh, some of the other new things we've got with um, the top WordPress themes is similar to what it was before. It's just uh, formatted a little bit better. Here we can see the most popular themes that have been discovered and that's um, the many many thousands of uh, our queries that have uh, come up with these statistics so we can see here that the um, thesis of DIY themes in studio press and WordPress itself you know I'll take and theme forest take up you know a good bulk of the of, of the searches now we also have now that it's detecting plugins it also has a report uh, for the most popular plugins so here we can see here for example uh, the contact form 7 uh, which is on pretty much all uh, sites that have a contact form whether it's just a simple um, you know contact does or, or more complex stuff and then we can you know, see here some of the other popular ones like all-in-one SEO pack uh, which has been around for a long time W3 total cache which is very popular for speeding up the site and then we've got some of the Yoast uh, plugins like WordPress SEO. And we can see here there's the Yoast Google Analytics. And yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch there. And you can go through and have a look because there'll, there'll probably be a, quite a few in there that you haven't come across before. So it's a, it's a useful way to see what, what plugins you know, a, lo a lot of sites are using. Okay, well hopefully you found that uh, update useful and uh, if you've got any suggestions uh, don't hesitate to drop me a line and I'll try to incorporate those in later versions. Thank you.